Hey, it's Phoebe, and today I'm in Seoul. South Korea's vibrant capital city, Seoul blends ancient tradition with modern flair. From historic places and unique neighborhoods to delicious food and lovely locals, this bustling city has it all. And in this episode, we'll be spending three days exploring Seoul's unique neighborhoods and uncovering some of the very best things to see, do, and eat. Let's go. I thought we could start things off today by exploring in Sedong. Now, this neighborhood is famous for being historic and artsy. But you guys, it is gray, it is overcast, I am really cold and I need two things today. Immediately coffee. <laughs> and second, I really need a coat. <laughs> So let's go get some coffee, let's get some breakfast, let's start things off right, let's find your girl a coat, and let's explore in Sedong. inside that cafe. It's also extremely chaotic. Um, and here's the thing, it was an hour wait to get a seat. And I'm not waiting an hour for any kind of food. No, 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 I'm hungry now. <laughs> so I just got takeaway. They're famous for something called salt bread. What is that? I have no idea. We're about to find out. <laughs> so I got two. I got cinnamon because I love cinnamon. And well, we'll talk about the other one in a second, but let's start with the cinnamon. <laughs> let's eat it. Oh my god. Whoa, what is that? That's delicious. Now it was it was 19,000 Korean won for the coffee and two of these bad boys, which is about 20 Australian dollars. It's not cheap, but it's not crazy crazy either. We've got another one. <laughs> now I asked the lady who was putting out all of the salt breads um, which other one should I try? And she suggests this one. It's lemon. I love a lemony dessert. <laughs> I, oh my god. I don't know. Yeah, I'm just gonna say it. That's the best pastry I've ever had in my life. I didn't think that was happening to me today. Who knew I was showing up to Insadong in Seoul to Artist Bakery to get the best pastry of my entire life? That's unreal. Look at that. That is just a big fat whack of lemon curd oozing out the middle of it. <laughs> I love lemon curd. What are they doing in there? Um, okay, coffee. <laughs> it all comes down to this. This could be a 10 out of 10 bakery. The coffee's okay. It's okay. It's very watery, which isn't my vibe. I like a nice creamy latte. I did a little double shot. Maybe the second shot has something to do with it. Who knows? Either way, the coffee's mid. These are elite. <laughs> When I was researching things that I really wanted to do in Seoul, I came across something on TikTok and it was called Acorn Caricature. And you show up and you pay 7,000 won and these beautiful ladies do a caricature of you. So I'm sitting really still <laughs> while this lovely lady draws me and I'm so excited for it. <laughs> but also nervous. Hopefully it's not one of those mean caricatures where they like <laughs> accentuate your worst features because I, I can't handle it. <laughs> I'll have a meltdown. Oh Hold on, wait. I have to film both ways. <laughs> it's ready. I'm gonna try and film my reaction and the reveal all at once. This is advanced filming. Okay. I'm nervous. <laughs> okay. <gasps> oh my god, I love it. Oh my. Oh, you did so good. Thank you so much. What do you guys think? Oh, it looks so good. Oh. A little while ago, I snuck up a merch store on this channel. <laughs> and I didn't really tell any of you about it because I didn't want you to feel like pressured to buy anything or I didn't want you to feel like it was a money grab, but some people had asked, so I did it. Um, there's a lot of Fibby merch on there, <laughs> which is my favorite. Um, but I think I'm gonna turn this into a little piece of merch because I'm not very good at making merch about myself. But I think this is a nice way to do it. So if you would like something with this on it, 
that's going to be in the merch store. Um, yeah, and then you can live the soul experience with me. Oh my gosh! Thank you so much! <laughs>some of those little pieces so I can put them up in my house when I go home next um, and I've come in here and they're so lovely and this is the beautiful manager and they were like oh they saw my camera and they're like oh introduce our shop hello, hello. <laughs> it's so, so nice so to so meet so you <laughs> no that's okay your shop is so beautiful thank you and this is all local Korean by Korean artists artist okay he's the artist okay my husband <laughs> your husband's the artist he painted all the he okay. painted all, all, all of these. All, all. I didn't know I was meeting the artist. Wow! Artistic. Did you paint the pictures I bought? Okay. I didn't all, know. All is my artwork. Really? Please. Briefly, I introduce my artwork. I would love that, okay. please. Here. Yes. Uh, this side is pictures uh, I draw it with a pen and watercolor. They're beautiful. Uh, about the book chunk. Okay. All side is uh, I draw the oil pastel. Wow. Oil pastel. Okay. Would you then, um would you sign would you sign the ones I bought? Would oh, you sign for me? Oh, okay. Oh my gosh, she's gonna say okay, wow. Mm, mm. How do you get fair, the other signature? Fair, I, I would love that. Okay. Ah! Signed here. Please, I would mm, love that. Mm. Oh my gosh. Um that's pretty amazing to get the mm. actual artist to sign the beast that you just bought. I'll put that up in my house. Okay. Thank you so mm, much, mm, sir. My side. <sighs> Thank mm, you. Come mm, ah, mm, mm, Okay. Uh, I will. people in the traditional garments and for the girls that is this beautiful humbok and I've gone full humbok Barbie <laughs> I booked the um, the premium humbok rental with a photo shoot <laughs> so me and the photographer were running around he was directing me he showed me like a little sneak peek of some of the photos they're the best photos I've ever seen in my life he's incredible um, I highly recommend doing this it's just so much fun and you come away with it with away from it with such a great memento and anyway <laughs> i booked mine via kluk i'll have a link below for you so you can check it out and book it with or without the photographer it's up to you but the photographer is pretty cool because you're guaranteed to get amazing photos um i don't know all the local girls keep looking at me and waving and smiling and it's just like i don't know i feel like when you do stuff like this you're just I don't know, I don't know how to describe it, it's like you're really immersing yourself in the culture and really making that effort to connect and experience it and I feel like the locals kind of love that. I know I love it. <laughs> public transport and it has been super easy to navigate the train the bus 
easy to figure out. Now I did get a T money card, which is their public transport card. I picked this up from a convenience store, 7-Eleven. Um, I was able to buy this using my Visa debit card, but to put credit on it, I had to pay cash. So make sure you do have some cash. Although in saying that, I've mostly been paying for everything I've been doing with my Visa debit card anyway. But I think a little bit of cash for street food and charging up your MRT card or, or transit card or whatever they call it here, T money card, is a good idea. Um, now I've been getting directions on the bus with Google Maps, <laughs> but here's the thing about Google Maps, it's not so good for walking directions. It will just say that there's no possible route to get there, even though there is a possible route to get there. Um, so just use your live location, look at where you are, look at where you're going and use the blue dot to help you navigate your way, but all in all. I am finding Seoul so easy to navigate and we're going to catch the bus right now to our next location. This morning in in Sedong. and where that was all things quiet and peaceful and chill, Myeongdong is very busy. Um, that's why we needed to ease into it and work our way up to it. Um, I don't super love crowds, <laughs> and this is super super crowded. Um, now I have heard that these markets selling all of this street food here. I've actually heard they're not the best. If you're from Seoul and you have an opinion on that, please let me know. What I had heard was that these street vendors know that the people that are eating here are tourists, not locals. So the incentive to make amazing food that draws people back time and time again just isn't there. They're happy just to put together something that looks visually grabbing let's say and makes you want to buy it but maybe necessarily isn't the best taste wise um, i'm happy to taste something maybe if i see something that i think looks good <laughs> um, and takes my fancy and we can confirm that theory but so far i have to be honest with you i'm not really seeing anything that grabs me it's all very showy and i don't know steamy and people are kind of crowded around it but to me it's just not really grabbing me now in addition to this street food <laughs> Myeongdong is actually really famous for shopping, so I thought we could have a little bit of a wander around, maybe check out some of the shops, grab some K-beauty, and hopefully find somewhere to grab a bite to eat. Um, oh my god, it is so chaotic. <laughs> Let's see if we can get off this main, this main street and find somewhere else. And also, I really need to find a coat. <laughs> I still don't have a coat and I am freezing my nuggets off, so <laughs> let's see if we can find a coat. I had is long gone. These nights we've been fighting. Sick of pretending that we'll see the light of dawn. Look at me, look at you. Boy, you cross the line now, time out. Look at this, look what we've become. Oh, baby, look at me, look at you. Don't play games. Time for changes, make or break now. Drop the act, drop the act, do This right talk is meaningless. Cause we fragile like candles in a strong wind. Tell me, babe. I had to get out of me on them. That was my personal hell. <laughs> I get absolutely no enjoyment out of that whatsoever. There's just too many people. Um, I have been there before during the daytime hours and it, it was much better than that. So if that's you and you don't love a crowd and you don't love slow walkers and all that kind of stuff, avoid it at night. <laughs> Or during the day and you might fare a little bit better um, but it's time for dinner and I didn't want to eat around there so I made my way back to my hotel and I thought I'll just wander around until I see something that takes my fancy now we're gonna be going in on Korean food tomorrow so tonight I'm treating myself to some sushi um, I walked past the sushi place it looked amazing I don't know what the name is <laughs> it's, it's written in Korean characters I tried to look on Google Maps there's no English translation which I love um, I'm the only gringo in here we love that. Um, I just wandered in off the street, ordered off the screen. Some sushi has come out, it looks amazing. I'll show the outside of the shop for you so that you can find it if you really want to. Um, I thought I was ordering something kind of small. Thank you. Um, it, I've ordered a lot. I've ordered a lot. <laughs> okay. 
their berry salmon is excellent. Um, now I didn't order soup or a side dish, but I was presented with soup and a side dish. This, I have no idea what this is. It smells like cat food. <laughs> Let's eat it. This is real brave of me right now. <laughs> that is delicious. If you know what that is, please comment it. I'm gonna sit here, I'm gonna feast, I'm gonna enjoy my sushi, and then I'm gonna show you where I'm staying. <laughs> it might be the smallest hotel room I have ever stayed in, and I love it. I'll show you why. <laughs> For accommodation, I'm staying at Snowflower Guest House. Now, I love the location of this place. It is in such a good spot. It's easy to access all the best sites, it feels super safe, and there's loads of good places to eat nearby too. Now this is a homestay rather than a hotel, so think of it like a fancy hostel. There's shared facilities like this cozy terrace and kitchen. The fridges and shelves are stocked full of food that's included in the price of the stay. Seriously, you could eat all your meals here and not spend an additional cent if you didn't want to. There's also shared laundry facilities, super fast Wi-Fi, a computer and printer you can use, and so many more little details like that. Now, at 12 meters squared, this is the tiniest room I have ever stayed in, and I didn't expect to like it, but I do! It's awesome! The bed is so comfy, the TV is huge, and Netflix is included. There's a shower in the room with shared toilets outside in the main area. There's a desk for me to do my work, and it just, it just works. It really does. I don't know why, but I've been having the best sleeps of my life in this room for some reason. Now I'll have a link below so that you can check out Snowflower Guest House, but I'll also put some other hotels down there at varying price points for you as well, so that you can find something perfect for your soul stay. Check out the links in the video description. That was an extra juicy one because I'm feeling really happy today. Um, the weather, let's talk about it. <laughs> it's grey, it's raining, it's overcast and it's very cold. Now I may look like I'm wearing the exact same outfit as yesterday. It's because I sort of am except I've got a lot more layers under it because still don't have a coat and I think I might be in the right place to find one. Um, we're gonna spend the day or the morning in Gangnam. What a Gangnam style! <laughs> Enough of that. <laughs> But first things first, before we start exploring Gangnam and doing a few things I've always wanted to do here, I need to eat. I'm so hungry. So let's see if we can find something tasty to warm us up. I'm agitated. I'm agitated. <laughs> I lined up at the London Bagel Museum for 30 minutes, I'm waiting to get a nice cozy table inside. I was having visions of like a nice toasty bagel with a bowl of soup, hot coffee. Check, check, check. So I waited 30 minutes and the line was going so slow, I was like, that's fine, I'll just switch to takeaway, get in, get out, I'll figure it out. I wait another 20 minutes, I go inside, everyone's like push and shove, snatching the last this, that bagel, it's rough in there. Anyway, I get my two bagels on my tray, I get up the top, I choose my cream cheese, I order my coffee, I say to the girl, great, I'll have that toasted, please, um, this cream cheese on this one, this cream cheese on that one. She's like, oh no, we don't do that. <laughs> I like, what do you mean you don't? You don't do that. How am I meant to eat it? She, do you, like, do you cut it? Can you give me a knife even? Just, like, I'll put the cream juice on myself outside. She's like, no, we don't do that. So, this is it. I've got it and I can't eat it. I'm no, I lost an hour of my life and I'm no closer to getting something to eat. Do you know what I mean? I got a coffee. Let's try that. Yeah, the coffee's mid. The coffee's mid. Um, let's just walk. The first decent thing I see to eat, I'm eating it. Yes, the Instagram and TikTok famous places to eat are great. <laughs> but they come with a price sometimes. That price can be your money and it can also be your time. <laughs> there is something to be said for places like this. Butterfinger pancakes, their slogan is my kind of place. I'm feeling that, no cure. Plenty of open seats, walked right in, sat right down. Pancakes, please. A big old cup of black coffee appears. <laughs> Pancakes are on the table in 10 minutes. They're hot, they're fresh, they look amazing. Do you know what I mean? Do you know what I mean? 
but see if this place is any good. I was going crazy. I had to eat immediately. I was getting real hangry. I was out of control. I just... I love this kind of comfort food is the thing. And what's funny about it is I was watching um, some Anthony Bourdain the other day and he was at Waffle House. I've never eaten at Waffle House. But you know what I love about Anthony Bourdain is he was into that kind of stuff. And I've, that really resonates with me. Like, I love to have the real high-end luxury experiences and try the Michelin star food and the Diga station and all this great stuff. But I also love just eat some plain old pancakes from a Denny's or a Butterfinger Pancakes or Waffle House or do, do you know what I mean? <laughs> All right, I've got the banana and nut pancakes. That's really good. Keep your croffle. Keep your million dollar bagel. I'm happy with my two dollar pancakes. Lights out, I'm the favorite. Too many ways, been in your place, there's delays. Add it up, plus signs, it was on the table. Driving and vibing, bring the beer later. Wanna make it bigger, just a little bit of. They were showing up to my space, I'm a fashion dealer. I'm your biggest bidder, meet me in the middle. I just don't wanna settle under these lucid dreams. I'm having a weird day today, a real weird day. <laughs> The Starfield Library has been on my travel bucket wish list for a really long time. I love libraries and if you guys are, this is embarrassing, I'll say it again, I said it in the Copenhagen episode. Oh, I can't look at you when I say it, hold on, don't, don't make eye contact. <laughs> it's my secret fantasy slash dream that I meet the love of my life in a library. So I like to visit libraries when I travel to give that dream possibility of becoming a reality. So I thought this one would be great. This is everything. This is the anti-library. What I like about the library is it's quiet, it's uncrowded, it's a chill place where introvert me can flourish. Um, this is not that. This is not that. This is not... I don't know if it really is a library. If you're from here, um, if you could just let me know if, if anybody actually comes here to quietly read a book. <laughs> Or do some study I don't see how you would this feels like a like a gimmick like an Instagram gimmick which is a little disappointing that's not really what I wanted I wanted a nice peaceful library time um, today is just a weird one for me it's not really panning out how I planned it's all making sense to me not a basic and a hard You may have noticed I haven't eaten a lot of Korean food yet. <laughs> I've been saving it for this very moment. I signed up for a street food tour, specifically of the Guangzhou market. Now it is two hours of intense eating in the market and we have an amazing guide with us. Um, it's all girls here, which is really cool. Um, would you like to say hello to the vlog? <laughs> These are the other girls on my tour. Hi. Hi! So cute and our beautiful tour guide hiding in the background there. This is our first stop. It's a really famous noodle and dumpling spot. I believe it was featured on Netflix. I'll have a link below so you can check it out. Um, now for me, they've got kimchi dumplings, which I'm really excited about. They've got some hand cut noodles and this I'm super, super excited about. Kimchi, one of my favorite foods and so Korean. I think kimchi a lot makes you skinny. <laughs> I'm going in, babe. I'm going in. Okay. No. <laughs> okay, this is the kimchi dumpling. <laughs> the wrapper is real nice and gooey. The inside is all things spicy, a little bit sweet, garlicky, salty. Yeah, that's delicious.
it's time for our very last course. This is the famous twisty donut. Let's hope it's good. That's very different to what I thought it was going to be. It's super, super soft. And the outside is super, super crunchy. Perfect amount of sugary cinnamon goodness on the outside. I really like that. Mm. I have absolutely loved doing the street food tour. I told you guys I saved up doing this. And the reason for that, look, I can work a street food market like nobody's business, but because I don't eat a lot of meat, and I know that Korean cuisine is a bit meat heavy, I wasn't sure what I should eat, what I shouldn't. I was a little bit intimidated. And this was the best way for me to get into it. Honestly, I'm glad I saved it up. I'm glad I waited. And I'm really glad I did it this way because I got to try so much food that I never would have tried otherwise. And I got to make some new friends, some other solo travel girls, and have this shared experience with them, which has been really, really wonderful. So I highly recommend doing it. I'll have a link below for you so that you can book as well, and hopefully you get the same amazing guide is me. Good morning you guys. <laughs> Today I'm going to try and reconnect with the side of Seoul that I really love. So we're going to be exploring another one of the really cool neighborhoods. It's called Hongdae. I think it's like a bit of a university young people's hangout. <laughs> Um, and we're starting things off with coffee, of course. So I've come to a place called Oats. I saw it online, it looked awesome. I thought, let's try it. When I showed up, I was a little nervous because there was no queue, which is great, but there was no one here. And I thought, oh no, maybe that means it's really bad and I've gotten this wrong, but I'm here, I'll try it. The coffee and the little scone pastry thing have come out. They look amazing. Let's start with the coffee. Um, oh, I've ordered an Einspanner. It sounds German. If you know what that is, please tell me. <laughs> That's really good. <laughs> it's worth coming here just for that. I, they do it in an iced version and a hot version. I've got the hot version. The iced version looks cuter in the cup, but I felt like a hot drink. Okay, and then I've got a, a choco scone. It's a, like a dry hard biscuit, so I don't, I, that's not what a scone is to me, but I'm curious to try. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. I, oh, that's a bit, that's a bit rich for me. I like sweets. I'm not one of these people like, I don't like sweets. You guys know I love sweets, but. That one for me is a little too much. I'll give it I'll give it one more bite. Not my favorite. But this? This thing slaps. <laughs> you guys between my knees <laughs> wait let's start up here let's see if I can do this I had gotten on Google Maps this is a hack I don't know if it's a hack maybe you do this too before I travel to a city I write down a list in the, my notes <laughs> of all the places that I could potentially eat every cafe every restaurant every everything and then I get on Google Maps and I star them all so on a day like today when I'm a home day I don't have to think about it I open Google Maps I see where I am I look at what's nearest I press the stars I go yep 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 yep, yep. This was one of the starred places. It's a mochi ice cream store. I can't remember what it's called. <laughs> I'll find out and I'll put the name on the screen for you, but you guys know I'm obsessed with mochi ice cream. I eat it non-stop when I'm in Japan, but I've only ever had it from the convenience store. This is my first fancy mochi. Um, I'm excited, but I have to tell you the convenience store one goes hard, so <laughs> how much better can this be? Um, I've got two flavors. We're gonna try them both and see which one's the best or if they're good at all. Um, We'll start with raspberry crumble. So I'm just gonna put you guys between my knees. <laughs> just balance you there. Okay, it's a great angle for you. Oh my God. That's way better than the convenience store. I love dark chocolate, it's my favorite. And this one, dark chocolate. <laughs> That's excellent. That is excellent.
I'm sure you can tell, but I really love this neighborhood. <laughs> it has been really nice just wandering around and looking at everything. I think this would be a really great location to stay. My hotel isn't here. Um, I'll, I'll give you the link to where my hotel is so you can check out the location. I don't want to describe it because I'm going to describe it wrong, but it's been in the best location. If I hadn't stayed there, I would have been very happy to stay in this neighborhood. It's just got a really good feel to it, lots of great places to eat. It feels very friendly, very accessible, um, and easy to get around from here as well. So a few essential soul travel tips for you. Definitely get your team money card. It's just going to make it a lot easier to get around in the public transport. You can use Google Maps. I've been using it. It's been fine for public transport. And then for days like today where I'm walking along, I just figured it out myself by looking at Google Maps, but I, I didn't download any special Korean apps or anything like that. I have been able to use Apple Pay and my physical card in most places, but I did need to have a little bit of cash here and there. So do take some cash out. If you need receipts, you're going to need to ask for them. I found they don't really offer you a receipt here or hand it over naturally. So if you need receipts, for whatever reason, you're going to need to ask for them. You should definitely have Google Translate downloaded. Um, I found most people speak English, which is very lovely because I don't speak Korean, but Google Translate has really come in handy a lot of times. And I've never said this in an episode before, but I recommend you have your passport on you at all times. <laughs> it's so that you can do some duty-free shopping. So some of them you hand the passport over and they give you the, the dis discounted rate on the spot and other times they give you a receipt and I've got a whole stack of them and I'm gonna go scan them at the airport, the international airport when I leave and I'm gonna get my tax refund there. But definitely make sure you have your passport on you so you can take advantage of that. But other than that, I have had a wonderful time here in Seoul and tomorrow I'm gonna to be catching the bullet train down to Busan. My sister is very excited, her all time favorite BTS, Jungkook. He's from Busan. <laughs> I'm really excited to see it. Um, Busan is a brand new city for me and I'm really excited to find out what it's all about. I've got some really cool stuff booked. And with that, that brings our time in Seoul and this week's episode to a close. I really hope you've enjoyed it. Now, if you don't already, be sure to subscribe right now so you never miss a single episode and say hello in the comments below. I hope you have a great week ahead and I will see you with a brand new Busan episode next week. You know I love you. Yeah.